Hey everybody, Sharon here from TheGimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in Brock the Investigator going for the Tramp Saver achievement. This is to have a playthrough where you end up saving the Tramp. I'm going to recommend you do this off of a New Game Plus after beating the game at least once. That way you can skip all of the dialogue as well as have a familiarity with the game. Recommend doing this on relaxed difficulty so you can skip all of the fights. In addition to showing you how to save the tramp, we are going to also show you how to skip all of the non-essential parts of the game so you can get through the playthrough as quickly as possible without actually having to play a huge chunk of the story. So first things first, you want to make sure you try to get through the prologue as quickly as you can. It's going to have nothing that's going to be useful to us for this achievement. Make sure you get over to chapter one and you're going to start out in your apartment as you normally would. We're going to start out by grabbing our starting gear. Make sure you grab the magnifying glass off of the table. Make sure you grab the stick off of the wall. And if you want to, you can also grab some food while you are here as it is going to be free. There is going to be the energy drink in the fridge and there's going to be the fruit on the table in the fruit cup. So make sure you grab those if you do end up taking some damage later. Once you have those, we're going to need to get rid of the cleaning bots. You should be pretty familiar how to do this. Just make sure you equip the stick from your inventory. Then with the stick in hand, make sure you enter action mode and then just use it to smack the cleaning bot to get it out of the way so you can use the door. Now, before you leave, you're going to have to talk to your son. So make sure you just talk to him. You don't actually have to start any conversations. You can just talk to him and then just leave right away. As long as you make sure you check in with him, you should have the OK to leave your apartment. So make sure you exit through the door and then we're just going to head straight outside to make sure you walk forward. You're going to get a little call here. You can skip past that if you want to, but just make sure you get outside and you should be introduced to the tramp right here who's going to be harassed by some rats. Now, first part of the achievement is going to be to try to save the tramp from the rats. So you are going to have to engage them in a fight. So unfortunately, you are going to have to defeat them. So you cannot work on this achievement at the same time as a pacifist run. You are going to have to defeat both enemies in order to save the tramp in this particular scene. After the fight, the tramp should introduce himself as well as give you a medical prescription. So make sure you take that. What's also going to come with the medical prescription is going to be a side quest to fulfill it, which is going to basically be how we end up saving the tramp towards the end of the game. So basically the entire point of this playthrough is going to be us trying to fulfill this prescription. So once we have it, we are going to go about the rest of chapter one. However, we are going to need to play it in a very specific way. And this is going to pretty much amount to us needing to play chapter one with the intention of saving up a bunch of money in addition to our normal story tasks. So make sure you hit up the elevator and then take this up to the second floor. Grab the toy from the chain linked fence as you normally would. This time instead of heading down you want to make sure you head in to this door. This is going to be the room where you would normally play the optional treasure hunt mini game. Once you are in here, you want to make sure you enter action mode and you want to make sure you punch this statue. After hitting it a couple times, it should drop an ad, but if you keep hitting it, it should drop money and food every now and again. Then just keep hitting it until it runs out of both food and money, and that's going to be indicated when it does end up breaking. So just make sure you take advantage of this nice starting seed money here, which should set you up for a nice start for the rest of the money that we need. So once it breaks, we're going to grab the last bit of cash here and the last bit of food, and then we're going to continue on our merry way. So make sure you head back out to the front of the apartment building, take the elevator back down, and then we're going to head out onto the world map. Once we are here, our next destination is going to be Sector 56. We are just going to continue the story as we normally would. So make sure you head down the street, make sure you get the gate open, and make sure you head into Sin's apartment in order to meet him. So pretty typical stuff here, make sure you talk to him and exhaust every single conversation and then once you are done talking to him you're going to have a look around the apartment. You want to make sure you try to pick up everything that you normally would in a normal playthrough so make sure you don't skimp out on anything. So exhausting everything in the conversation should get you a bunch of clues, it should also get you some locations, but once you do have free range to look around the apartment, make sure you head over here into the back room, examine the cups in order to get the pills, make sure you look at the family photo, which is going to get you another clue, make sure you interact with the button, which is going to pull the bed down, 
And then once the bed is down, you want to make sure you grab the remote, which is going to break it. But of course, we are going to get this fixed. This is going to be a very important item, so make sure you stash that away. And while you are here, feel free to also raid the fridge in order to get some more free food. You don't have to do this, but might as well do it because you can't say no to free health items. So make sure you grab the food here, and then we should be on our merry way after this. Make sure you leave the apartment, and it's going to be on over to Shay's garage. Once you are here, our main goal is to get the remote fixed as well as get the DNA imprint for the border post. So make sure you exhaust the conversation with her and then make sure you open up your inventory and then give her the broken remote and she should end up fixing it. Once you have done that, make sure you leave. She's going to tell you about the virtual arena. Just make sure you pick no problem. I remember that's going to save you a bunch of conversation. And then just make sure you leave after this. Feel free to grab the rubber cutter off of the wall by pulling the lever off and then giving it to her to confirm that it is a rubber cutter. We are going to need to use it. However, it does come in handy if you do want the option for certain puzzles. So make sure you stash that away. And then once you have everything you need, make sure you leave the garage and then it's going to be on to the border post once we're here we're going to do what we would normally do make sure you talk to bolt and then exhaust the conversation up to the point where you have him open the door for you so that's going to be once the building option pops up click on that that should get the glass dome open make sure you head on inside make sure you go to the commands and then do the puzzle where you try to build yourself a staircase of boxes on the left side above you and then just take the elevator up and then platform all the way to the top of the tower right here Make sure you use your apartment key in order to remove the two shelving brackets to get the billboards off. You can do the left one, which is going to break the vending machine underneath you, which you can use to get some more free food later. Of course, can't say no to free food. And of course, you are going to need to break the one on the right side in order to build a bridge to get across to the other tower. Once you take the two shelving brackets out, just make sure you enter action mode and then just punch them down. Once you get to the other tower, just make sure you punch the door open and then head on inside. Feel free to take either option to get to the bottom. Either use the rubber cutter on the panel to do the puzzle method, or you can platform down if you're feeling a little more reckless. But nonetheless, once you get to the bottom, this is going to be another spot that we have to play in a very specific way in order to save up more money. So make sure you start the puzzle by clicking on the mainframe and then clicking on the bottom in the bottom left. Then you're supposed to do the thing where you pick the four shapes. Instead of picking the correct shapes, just make sure you pick a random four. And if you get it wrong, that's going to cause a fight. Make sure you try to win the fight and that should allow you to get some more money And then what you can keep doing is you can keep going back to the mainframe Keep clicking on the bottom left button to start the puzzle and as long as you constantly get the puzzle wrong It's going to keep spawning robots and you can pretty much try to grind out a ton of money here Now there's going to be a limit to this so you can only do this so many times So once the game runs out of robots, it's going to basically give you the puzzle as a freebie So make sure you just exploit this the best you can and then just try to get as many fights here as you can before the game cuts you off that way you're going to be saving the most amount of money that you can earn here and again, money is going to be everything when it comes to trying to keep the tramp alive past chapter one. So make sure you do take advantage of any opportunities to earn money, which is mostly going to come from fights. So once the game gives up and stops spawning robots, it's just going to give you the puzzle for free. And that should allow you to exit the tower. Once you are outside, feel free to loot the vending machine for some snacks. And then once you take care of that, go over to the scanner to enter the dome. And that's basically going to complete the border post area, giving you access to the next place, which is going to be Drummer Street. So once you get on inside, make sure you go to Drummer Street as you are supposed to for the story. Once you are here, we're going to need to get into the pharmacy. Now you can solve a little puzzle in order to try to remove the guard robot here, or we can try to punch it, which is going to start a fight, which is going to not only be the time efficient method, it's also going to be the method that earns us a little bit of money. So make sure you do that. Just make sure you enter action mode, punch it, which is going to start the fight, and then make sure you complete the fight, defeat it and its minions, and it should drop some money as well as the key you use in order to get the pharmacy open as well as the back alley. Enter the back alley first. There's going to be some cards 
cardboard boxes in here that you need to clear and the boxes are going to be a great source of money so make sure you try to grab all that you can here from all of the boxes there's also going to be food in here in case you took some damage in the fight so make sure you take advantage of that if you wish but once you are done here we're going to leave the alley and then actually head into the pharmacy so just make sure you head back the way you came and that's going to be through the door now that the guard is gone so first thing we're going to do once we're in the pharmacy is we're going to try to advance the side quest in order to save the tramp. What that's going to mean is we're going to head over here to the machine and we're going to try to cash in his prescription. So open up your inventory, grab the prescription and make sure you bring it to the scanner. The machine is going to inform you that the prescription is outdated and we are going to then need an alternative way in order to try to keep the tramp alive for chapter one. So if you head over to the buy drugs button in the upper left, you can see the thing that we have been trying to save money for, which is going to be the cheapest thing in the upper left called glucosite. It's going to cost 300 money. So obviously we don't have enough still. So we're going to put that on hold for now. And we're just going to continue on with the story. Just make sure you need to do everything you need to do here in the pharmacy, including scanning the pill that we grabbed from Sin's apartment, inspecting the left drawer and inspecting the downed ad balloon on the right that should get you all of the clues you need here and then we're going to be free to move on to the next area which is going to be the sewers so make sure you head back to the back alley and then you're going to need to do the thing where you use your magnifying glass on the grate open up the manhole cover get into the sewers inspect the crime scene and then make your way to the minefield don't forget to use the remote to disable the mines once you get to the dead end and then just bolt across once you are here you're going to find the rat gang now of course you can normally try to puzzle solve your way out of this however we are going to need to actually defeat them in a fight in order to earn more money so make sure you do that and then once you are able to defeat them just make sure you try to grab as much cash as they drop and then we're going to put this towards that glucoside so hopefully you are able to get through this a okay and then just Try to grab as much as you can, and then once you are done, you are going to be free to move on with the rest of what you need to do here in the sewers, which is going to be finding Sin's gun. So it's going to be in the next room, just make sure you take care of that as you normally would for the story. Now, obviously, finding and inspecting the gun is going to signal that Chapter 1 is starting to come to a close. Unfortunately, we still don't have enough money to buy the glucosite. So we are going to have to make this last ditch effort in order to save up the last bit of cash we need. So it's going to be back up to the surface and then to get this last resort money we are going to need to break this vending machine right here. So go up to the vending machine and then start smacking it around. Every couple of times you damage it it's going to spawn some security drones. Thankfully you can defeat the security drones in a fight to earn even more money so make sure you do take advantage of that. Now, breaking the vending machine is obviously going to not allow us to buy the alcohol from it, which is going to mean we are going to have to fight Sin at the end of the chapter. Since we aren't able to go for the pacifist run at the same time as this achievement, it isn't going to matter too much, so might as well continue us breaking the vending machine right here. Once you are able to break this vending machine, you should be awarded with the money inside as well, which is going to be 2000 which is going to be a big help towards us getting the prescription now if you want to be greedy there is actually going to be another vending machine right here to the left so feel free to repeat the process if you want even more cash this particular vending machine on the left is going to contain a collectible in it so hopefully you pick that up on a previous playthrough or plan on picking it up in a different playthrough nonetheless once you break that you should be good for another 2000 money at this point, you should be more than well off enough in order to head back into the pharmacy and then buy the medicine we need. So it's going to be back over to the machine and make sure you go up to the upper left button, buy drugs, buy the glucosite for 300. And then once we have that, we are able to keep the tramp alive going into the next chapter. So it's going to be back home after this before we stop off at sector 56x in order to start the last engagement with sin so make sure you head over to the tramp and then just make sure you talk to him and then you should have the option to give him the glucosite which is going to save him for now so make sure you do that to buy yourself some time and then we should be able to move on with the rest of chapter one 
So once that's taken care of, we're going to be free to finish up Chapter 1. So that's going to involve us heading back to Sector 56X to check back with Sin. So make sure you head over to his apartment. Make sure you give him the gun. You're going to do the investigation. If you are doing this in New Game Plus, you can actually skip these scenes, thankfully. So make sure you do that if you don't want to replay these. Since we weren't able to get the alcohol, we are going to need to actually fight him. So make sure you do defeat him. Once the fight is over, you're going to get a story choice here. These aren't going to really matter too much for this particular playthrough unless they end up saving us a bunch of time. So just pick whatever you want. It's not going to matter that we get a specific ending or specific branches. So just make sure you skip through the rest of the scene and then get to chapter 2. Chapter 2 is going to start out with Graf taking the test. Feel free to perform however well you want to on this as long as you get through it as quickly as possible as we are trying to save time here. That's going to be the same once we switch over to Brock's scenario in the police station. Just make sure you get through the interrogation as quickly as possible. Just pick whatever you want and then just make sure you get back to the actual gameplay bits. So you're going to start up Brock's scenario in the jail cell. We're going to start out by grabbing the cat fur from the shower drain. I'm going to recommend you press button number two and then access the book on the screen. Make sure you thumb through the pages and then that's going to start the software update. Make sure you pick yes to update and then it's going to get stuck. That should cause the software to revert to its beta form, which is going to allow you to get access to the book again, but this time it's going to have 999 pages. There's going to be a little Easter egg that's going to basically set you up with enough cash to get through the rest of the game. And basically that's going to involve you flipping through every single page of the book. So make sure you keep clicking next page until you get to 999. It is going to take quite a few minutes, however, it is going to be super worth it because once you do get to page 999, the game's going to set you up with 50,000 money, which is going to be more than enough to get through the rest of the game. Also, feel free to grab as much fruit as you can out of the food dispenser as it is going to be free, so make sure you stash those away. And then once you have that, the quickest way to get out of the jail cell without doing any puzzle solving is to click on button three, which is going to be the restroom mode. Make sure you go up to the sink, enter action mode, and make sure you just keep punching the sink. And then once you damage it enough, what's going to happen is the security guard is going to come in and challenge you to a fight. And if you could defeat him, that's going to be the alternative form of escaping. Once the fight is over, make sure you try to grab your stuff from the locker and then also try to free Sin. You are going to need to talk to him before proceeding, so make sure you do that. Just click on the touch panel to open up a cell, make sure you talk to him, and then once you leave, make sure you leave through the door and then make your prison escape through the rest of the police station. So once that wraps up, we're going to switch over to graph scenario. Again, we're going to do the method to get through this as quickly as possible. Do whatever you want for the intro bit right here you can be as aggressive or as friendly as you want as we're going to be doing a skip to skip this part in its entirety make sure you exit out through the door go over to clay enter action mode and just keep punching him until he gets upset enough to call his mom that's going to cause you to fail the objective however it's going to be a big time saver as it's going to skip to the next part so just make sure you get through that and then the next couple of parts until you wrap up chapter two so make sure you take care of that and we're going to immediately transition into chapter three which is going to open up with a choice neither one should really matter as you can choose whatever you want to do once you do get access to the gameplay part so just pick whatever gets you through this and then once you are actually up on your feet you should actually start chapter three Start the chapter by heading outside. You are going to need to check the mail first. So go up to the mail system, interact with it to open up the mailbox, and then make sure you look inside. Inside is going to be a pair of bills, so make sure you take those with you. We are going to need to pay for these, but thankfully, thanks to our little trick with the debug menu in the jail cell, we should have more than enough money. Head on outside, and if the tramp is still alive, you're going to get jumped by the rats. Make sure you take care of them, and you should save him yet again. You can also grab whatever money they drop, but we are going to be super rich at this point, so it shouldn't really matter. If you need more money for whatever reason, you can also take the elevator up to the second floor, and then you can head inside the room where you would play Trash Hunter. And if you happen to break the statue in the previous chapter, what's going to happen is there's going to be some police 
police here who are going to want to apprehend you. Make sure you engage in a fight and then take them out to earn even more cash if you want to, but that's going to be a nice little aside. So with that out of the way, we're going to head on to where we need to be heading next. So make sure you take the elevator back down and it's going to be out onto the world map. Our next destination is going to be Drummer Street so we can pay off those bills. So make sure you head back through the dome, head on inside, and then make sure you go over to the mail pipe right here next to the pharmacy and the fountain. Make sure you use your bills on them and then click money transfer and that should pay them off. Make sure you take care of both your rent and the energy bill. And then once you take care of that, it's going to be on to the next thing we need to do. This is going to involve us going over to the Conscientious Center first. We're going to need to talk to the teacher, so make sure you talk to her. You are going to want to explain what happened with Graph, so just pick whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to need to exhaust all of the dialogue choices, which is going to allow you to move on with the next part of the story. To sum things up, basically, she is going to ask you to find the self-modifier chip. This should all sound familiar, as at this point we have completed the story already at least once. So make sure you accept that quest, and it's going to be back out to the world map. We're going to head over to Shay's garage next to ask her about the self-modifier chip. Once you get here and then talk to her for the first time, she's going to ask you to help her find the six materials. You don't have to do this for this particular playthrough, so make sure you do keep that in mind. Just get straight to it and ask about the self-modifier chip, and that's going to lead you to asking her about the gloom. You should be told to go over to Hacker Street, so make sure you head there next. The location should also unlock. Once you head there for the first time, you're going to get a bunch of cutscene stuff with the rats. Just make sure you get through all of that. Once you actually get full access to the street, make sure you head over to the left side. The quickest way to get inside is to actually fight the security guard, so make sure you do that if you don't want to do the puzzle solving. Fighting is always going to be the quickest way of getting to your next objective. So once you take out the security guard, make sure you enter the building and then you should meet the hacker. Get through all of the intro stuff and then once you try to make a deal with him, feel free to pick whatever. You can accept, which is going to cost you some money. Of course, we have plenty of money thanks to our little trick earlier. However, since we need to go to the location to do the job for him anyways, you can also do that. Giving him the money right away is basically going to allow you to take care of the self-modifier chip right away. Regardless of what you do, you're going to head to the police department next. So once you are there, you're going to need to do the puzzle in order to get access to the office. Press these buttons in this order. It's going to be the first, the second, the fourth, and the fifth. Make sure you let the first bit of dialogue of each button play out, and that way you can trick the robot into giving you access to the office. Once you're in here, the quickest way to solve the first part is to just knock Ott out, so just make sure you enter action mode. Punch him once, that should knock him out, and that should allow you to skip to the second half. And then just make sure you take care of that. Again, this should all be familiar if you have beaten the game. And this is going to be the same regardless of if you took the hacker's deal or not. Once you wrap up here, that's going to move you over to Graf's scenario of the chapter, which is going to be the bunker puzzles. There's not going to be any shortcuts through this, so just make sure you get through all three of the puzzles as you normally would, and that is going to transition you over to the next chapter with you and Ott at the laboratory. So make sure you head on inside, and then we're going to shortcut our way through this as well. Once you get control of your character, make sure you head over to the right room, which is going to be Dr. Mink's office. Make sure you try to knock first, and then when he shuts the door, just make sure you smack it, and then once you break the door, you should be able to enter. Once you are in here, you're going to get the introduction bit, and then you're going to need to find Dr. Hush's killer. Before you do that, we are going to continue the next part of saving the tramp. Make sure you talk to Dr. Mink first, and then exhaust all of the dialogue options here. Once you are done with those two, make sure you go to show items and make sure you show him the prescription. Because he's a doctor, he should be able to update it for us, so that's going to take care of that. And then once we have access to the open world again, we are going to need to bring this back to the pharmacy. So make sure you get that prescription updated and then that's going to take care of that. Feel free to move on with the rest of the chapter at this point. The quickest way to get through this is to just stand on Dr. Hush's body. Enter action mode and then just keep jumping on his lifeless body and then eventually he's going to wake up which is going to save you a ton of time as you're going to skip every single part of the investigation. 
So once he gets up, what's going to happen is you're going to get some cutscene stuff, and then you're going to move on right to the chapter boss. So make sure you take care of that, and then once you wrap this up, that's going to transition you over to Graf's scenario. So once you are here, you're going to be in the last room of the bunker. You're going to get some cutscene stuff, of course. Just make sure you get through that. Then to get to the next puzzle, you're going to need to inspect everything in the room and then talk to Clay. Then the game is going to ask who is going to stay on the wall. Make sure you volunteer yourself, and that way Clay can solve all the puzzles and you just sit back and not do anything. Once you escape the bunker, you're going to play through a bunch of the chapters, so make sure you get through that. Keep playing until you get to the point of the chapter when you are in Shay's garage. Now what's normally going to happen is this would be the end of the chapter where she would ask you to do the arena battle as you would. However, since we haven't gotten her the materials yet, she's going to give us one last chance in order to get them. Instead of doing that, we're going to take advantage of this open world segment in order to hit up the pharmacy at Drummer Street. So make sure you go over there. Once you are back inside, make sure you go up to the machine, and this time you want to make sure you use your now updated prescription on the scanner. That should give you a 5 year supply of the medicine that the tramp needs. So make sure you pocket that, and then we're going to take this back to him. While we still have access to the open world, we're just going to take advantage and then just head back home straight away. So back out onto the map, make sure you go to home, and then once you are here, just make sure you talk to the tramp, and then hand him the medicine, and then the only thing left for us to do is to just play the rest of the game up to the point where we would get this achievement. So to continue the story, what you want to do is you want to make sure you head over to Shay's garage, and then make sure you talk to her. Make sure you start the virtual arena fight right away instead of finishing up looking for the materials. You are going to fail the objective, but this is going to allow you to move on to the next chapter, which is going to be chapter 5. So basically, we're going to play the rest of the game with two things in mind. We are going to need to beat the game in a way where we don't get an ending that is going to occur before we get to the point where we unlock the achievement for keeping the tramp alive. We are also going to keep up our strategy where we're going to skip any of the non-essential parts of the game. So basically we're going to play chapter 5 up to the point where we do the next trial at the museum. You can save yourself a bunch of time and skip out on most of the puzzles if you know the solution to the final puzzle which is going to be the giant piano in the middle of the floor. So hit up the triangular stone and make sure you start it and the shape you want to make sure you construct is going to be the rectangular prism. So just make sure you click on the rectangles every time they pop up and then once you click on enough it's going to produce the shape you need in order to complete the gap in the piano. So just make sure you keep an eye out for them. Of course if you have played the game already you should be very familiar with this. Although you can skip on building the rest of the shapes if you know that the rectangle is going to be the only one you actually need. Once you have it, make sure you bring it back to the piano and make sure you fill in the gap where the E key is supposed to be. And then you're supposed to play the final code. And the code is going to be D G H A I C B E F. Once you punch all of those keys in, make sure you hit the enter key all the way on the right. Once you do that, that should get your little fireworks display going, and then that should complete the trial at the museum. That should also transition you over to Brock's scenario for the chapter, which is going to involve him trying to investigate and repair all of the pill pipes. So make sure you play that until you get to the point where you get to Hacker Street. You're going to do the thing where you try to enter the hacker building by talking to RJ. Make sure you do that. And then after you finish talking to the hacker, you're going to leave. What's always going to happen is RJ is going to faint and you're supposed to get him a tox out pill. You want to make sure you skip this, which is going to save you some time. So instead of trying to revive RJ, just make sure you head back to the factory to grab Dr. Gherkin out of his bunker and then just finish up repairing the pill pipes. So wrap up everything you need to do in Chapter 5 and then start the final chapter. That's eventually going to lead you to the end of Graf's scenario right here back on Hacker Street. You want to make sure you head over to the right to confront the Rat Gang. You want to make sure you pick a choice that isn't going to end the game. So make sure you pick Do Nothing, which is going to lead to the rats kidnapping you and Ott. Then you're going to play the bulk of the rest of the final chapter. So you're going to do Brock's scenario at the bunker, and then you're going to do Graf's scenario in the sewers. But eventually, once you escape these sewers as Graf, you're going to get back to playing as Brock. 
you should now have access to the open world. So make sure once you get the map screen, you want to make sure you head home right away to check on the tramp. And if you manage to keep him alive up to this point in the game, he should disappear and then leave you a little surprise. That surprise is going to come in the form of a heartfelt letter. And in addition to that letter, you are also going to get a very special item in the form of the Lucky Charm. The Lucky Charm is going to basically allow you to survive one fatal hit. So make sure you do take advantage of this if you want to. But nonetheless, once you have that in your inventory, you should also be good for the achievement that comes along with it. There it is. This one's going to be for 70 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.